Yeah, you can just do your what you're supposed to do. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know. That's how I was doing it yesterday. I just mean I can answer people like every one minute. So there may be like 20 questions and I can get one, one question a minute. You don't have to. Just do the best you can. I mean, no, do you want, I mean, it is on the 60s. That's the only thing the option is slow speed or not, right? Oh. Yeah, so I chose the slow when I was doing it. Okay. Okay, I think we're here. I wonder if they, if we should get somebody, to, Katie or somebody to test the thing. Hey, everybody, can you hear us? Everybody says yes. Okay. Okay. Says you can hear us. How you doing, everybody? Hope you're all well. We've got a dreary day here in Southern Appalachia. It's rainy. We've had rain for how many days? Several. Several days rain. We had really some warm weather um, up in the 60s even, wasn't it? About 65 or About six. 65, and, and now it's turned back off cold, but not cold enough to snow, so still don't have any kind of snow. Any flooding? Uh, no flooding right here where we're at. No. Um, the the creeks are up just because we've had so much rain, but no, no flooding. I wish it was cold enough for this to all be snow, but of course it's not. So still no snow. I have enjoyed seeing a lot of the snow photos, though, that people sent me when they got a big snow last week and the week before. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Too nice. Yeah. So you could tell us about the weather from uh, where you're at. I see somebody from Culberson. So you've, you've had the same weather we have there. But uh, tell us about the weather where you're at. Snow in here, but not laying. Oh, okay. Holman's had a beautiful snow. Beautiful. That last big front that come through. Their snow was so pretty. Mud. Uh, there's a lot of mud here, too. Um, different spots of our driveway. This time of the year with the freezing and thawing gets pretty muddy, doesn't it, Matt? Yeah, the whole bottom falls out of it. It's just a mess it gets just a mess yeah and there's another road on our road um this morning when i went out i seen it's just like somebody had been four-wheeling and then they come out onto the pavement and it's just red paint i mean red mud down the road so there i thought oh goodness ours ain't that bad yet but it may get that bad dreary in mississippi too huh 25 inches of snow in Iowa. Oh, goodness. That's a lot of snow. Lots of snow in Iowa. Three-year-old. Oh, you just watched a three-year-old video with the along the creek with plenty of snow. Yeah, we've just not got any snow in the last, last year or so. I'm hoping for it, but by the time it gets to the end of February, I'm like, no, let's just go on to gardening. I'm ready to start gardening. <laughs> But a lot of times our big snows are in February. Yeah. Have one or two in March. Yeah. Bitters. Yeah. Of course, the blizzard, everybody talks about the blizzard. That was in March. When Corey and Austin got married, that was in March. And it wasn't a big snow that laid, but we did have little, little snow flurries, which made it really pretty. It was cold. It was really cold. Yeah. Made it a beautiful wedding, though. Lots of snow there, nine to 10 inches. Yeah five people are still coming in hello everybody we're so glad you joined us <laughs> warming up and Rhonda says oh I'll send it your way that'd be good we need some sunshine if we can't have snow then we just need some sunshine someone says they can't hear us maybe we need to move closer to us here a little bit Oh, yeah. Uh, someone says their favorite videos when I tried to sell Matt's truck. That's been a long time ago. <clears throat> what was the fun when it happened? Yeah. Well, it, it, wasn't it, for me. it was pretty fun for me, but not for Matt. Debbie, thank you so much. We appreciate you. You are always so good to us. Um, and if you missed that story about me trying to sell Matt's truck, that was back in our courting days, and Matt had broke up with me. And so to get him back, it was not just, I don't remember if it was me, but people that I worked with, we hatched this plan that it would be funny if we put Matt's truck on the 
radio in our area. It's called, uh, what is it called here? Party line. Party line here. And out there, I think it was swap the swap, swap shop. shop or something. It's where people call in and sell stuff. So one of the boys that I worked with, he pretended to be Matt and he called in and uh, tried to sell Matt's truck. <laughs> and then we give Matt's the number to where Matt's work, Matt worked. And of course people started calling and cause we described it and said, you know, offered it a really <clears throat> good price. And then people started calling and Matt had to tell them, no, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on, but my truck's not for sale. Uh, We're gonna go do a debate. Anyway, that was my, way of getting back at Matt. It was epic. And uh, I think Papa Tony called you even and was like, what the heck are you doing? Yeah, the, where I worked, I worked at Lowe's back then. And all the phone lines lit up. Every every line on our phone was lit and they were all for me. And I just had to keep answering them. You know, and the people I worked for was getting mad about it. And I didn't know what was going on, of course, but it didn't take me long to start uh, <laughs> picking up on what what it might be. That somebody, but he never yeah. guessed it would be me. A lot of people ask in that video, like, when did you tell him, Tipper, not till after you were married? I told him immediately when we got back together. I was like, you know, that did, you know, somebody tried to sell your truck. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, that was me. <laughs> What, did I, what was my reaction? I don't know. I think you just laughed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, by then it was, it'd been several months after that. I guess you, you probably just could like, man, I can't believe you done that. Yeah. I thought it was somebody yeah. else. Um, so someone asked about the cookbook signing in Ringgold, Georgia. April, April 20th, 11 to two at the sanctuary restaurant and tea room in Ringgold, Georgia. Yeah. And we'll we'll remind you and talk about that more. So, yeah. Someone else asked if we had good church service. Did you have good church service? Uh, we had a question. Did we have a good church service? And we did have a good church service today. It was very nice. Hope you did too if you got to go to church. Do you, um, question, do you wash your cast iron every time and then oil? Uh, so someone's asking about our cast iron. If you watch our videos, you know that's pretty much all we cook out of. We love it. Uh, and I think that's the real secret to good cast iron, the season, is just to use it yeah, just, over yeah. and over and over and over, use it, it um, all the time. But the question was, do we wash it? So a lot of times if it's something we can just wipe out, we wipe it out. Um, and there's this whole big debate about cast iron that you're never, ever supposed to let soap touch it. But I grew up in a house where all we used was cast iron and granny not just put soap in it. She stuck it right in the dishwasher and scrubbed it and it was still OK. It was still fine. So we don't if we can just wipe it out, we do that. And a lot of times Matt will put a little water in it and kind of. Uh, put the heat on and scrape it with a wooden spoon to get the, if it's something that's stuck on really bad, you know, and then wipe it out and then put like a little layer of oil. And so we do that. Yeah. And I'll generally heat it, heat it back up. Not super hot, but just get it warm where the pores of the metal will open up and then apply a little bit of olive oil or uh, whatever I've got and let it, once it heats up, it'll, it'll pull that into the, into the metal a little bit and then, give it a, a good sheen yeah favorite basketball team oh favorite basketball team i i have no clue Not <laughs> i guess i would say just for uh which is really silly but i would say the local martin's creek team and i don't even know anybody that's on the local Mar martin's creek team but that would be as pretty sure they made like, yeah they made like duke i know NC. they i know they did <laughs> i know that's Corey's like i'm pretty sure they meant duke or uh nc state or something i know but i don't know anything about it so uh, when I think about it, that's the first thing comes to my mind, like the little local basketball teams. That's all. But we don't we're not basketball fans, so we don't um, watch sports really much at all. Do you make your own laundry soap? Do I make my own laundry soap? I don't. Miss Cindy made it for years, for literal years. Uh, she made it and shared it with me and just made it easy on me. There it was. But I don't I've not done that myself. Somebody saying two weeks left here in deer season, Alabama, Matt, still waiting on the granddaddy to come out, going for a doe tomorrow to get some meat. Sweet. That's great, Mark. Um, I guess deer season has ended here. Yeah, it's been it's over, over here, here since the uh, first of January, first day of the month. So it's been a while since I've been. Yeah. Hey, I'm pa jealous. Yeah. I see Pastor Lon. Hey, Pastor Lon, Robbie Lynn, hope y'all are well. What kind of salt do you use to cure meat? 
um, we've not cured meat in many, many, many years, uh, mm -hmm. just because we don't. The, mostly the fresh meat that we have would be Matt's deer meat, and we don't we don't cure it in that manner. We did years ago have some. I don't who killed somebody killed a hog in our family, and we had some, but I don't remember truthfully what the meat was that we used. I think it was seems like it was shoulders and yeah. maybe one hind quarter and. I just, it was really cold out and I just salted them down with, uh, I don't remember what kind of salt it was. May have just been table salt. It may have been. Yeah. And, and I hung it outside on the porch railing overhead and for, I don't know, it hung out there probably for a month. Yeah. And as long as it stayed cold, it was, you know, it stayed good. And ever so often if I wanted some, I just got there and cut some off that it needed. Yeah, it was good. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Tammy, so much. And Matt, she says that uh, you being home really agrees with you. You look 10 years younger. Well, I wish I felt 10 years younger. <laughs> thank you anyway. Have you made deer meat chili? Yes, yes. we made mm -hmm. make deer meat chili. Yeah, it's good. Really good. Dream holiday. Uh, dream holiday like if we got vacation. to go somewhere like a vacation I don't that's hard for me and Matt both because we're pretty much homebodies uh, I love to go to the beach that's I really enjoy that going to the beach and sitting on the, just re literally sitting on the beach and watching the ocean day after day after day while I'm there I really enjoy that and I guess Matt's dream vacation is deer, uh, deer season I like to go, I always wanted to when I was younger I always wanted to go see the Yukon and That'd be nice. some sort of hunt up there, like a moose hunt or caribou or something, but it never happened. Yeah, and probably ain't going to. <laughs> well, you could, you might. Do you have vents in the floor to heat the upstairs or the woodstock? I'll take the question. No, they're, well, they're, you um, someone I'll let Matt answer it, but someone last time people said you didn't ask, we don't know what you're answering, but uh, Corey said someone asked if there's vents in our floor that lets the um, heater, our wood stove in the basement, heat the upstairs is the question. Uh, no, it's we don't have vents from the wood heat. The wood heater just by itself, the heat rises up through the floor, and our floor is not insulated, but our outside walls of our basement is. And that's the way the code is here. When you build a house, you can you can insulate one or the other. So we insulated the outside walls and not the floor, so the heat can rise through pretty much on its own without having to be vented. And it heats it. You know, if you if you got a good fire going, it heats it good. And mm -hmm. our other heat, uh, we have a heat pump and another like electric oil heater. And during the times we're running the wood stove, the, the other heat doesn't, doesn't, doesn't ever come on. Yeah. Uh, me and the girls like it. Um, it's me and Katie now, but when Corey was here, but in the back bedrooms, because they're right over the wood stove, the floor gets really toasty, especially, I, I guess, because it's insulated. If there's something laying there, like maybe you had a book or something and you pick it up, then the floor is real toasty mm -hmm. under it. Yeah, we really enjoyed, we always enjoy the wood wood stove, but this year with Matt here, just where he can just tend it all the time, we've all enjoyed it uh, more. Someone telling Matt to check out Roper brand knives if you're unfamiliar, budget pocket knives. Those sound good, $15.30 with 1066 carbon blades. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, thank you. Check that out. Yeah, thank you. Well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Corey says there's a question. What are we having for supper? And then she said, that's a real question, not just me, because she's going to, her and Austin are here and they're going to eat with us. Uh, we were going to, I said I would make hamburgers, which would be easy since we knew we were doing this. But then Matt got to cooking earlier today. So tell them what you've made. I cooked some uh, chicken legs in cast iron pot, kind of low and slow with some onions and as it got done, put a little mozzarella cheese over top of it, and we're going to have that and some rice and some steamed broccoli and some homemade bread. Sounds pretty broccoli. good. Do we have wild hogs, and do you ever go ice fishing day? Never. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say before, we'll have to repeat those questions, but congratulations, Lori. Lori got her first deer, she says. Oh, cool. Congratulations. Okay, Corey, what was the questions again? Ice fishing and wild hogs here. Uh, do we have wild hogs here? And then does Matt ever go ho uh, ice fishing? Never been ice fishing. Uh, never been anywhere where I could go ice fishing. Uh, it's not cold enough here. And the wild hogs, we do have wild hogs, not exactly right here where we live, but close to here on the national forest land. Um, 
I've seen them on occasion, but I've never really actually went and hunted just for them. Uh, I have killed one or two down in Georgia where we deer hunt years ago, but it's been a long time. John, thank you so much. That's so kind, um, what you said. Very, very kind. And thank you for praying for Granny. Very nice. Thank you so much. Uh, we did have, though, like we had some friends. Remember Mark and Dana and the wild hogs got in their yard and just destroyed it. Yeah. They're about how far from us? About uh, uh, 20 minutes or something. Yeah. Uh, and that's been years ago, too. I guess it kind of ebbs and flows where they're at. Yeah, they, they move around quite a bit. Uh, according to what they got to eat and what's been chasing them. Yeah, what's what's uh, pushing them around in mm -hmm. the woods. Has it stopped raining here yet, Pastor Long? Wants to know. It's still... It's still kind of misty. Misty, yeah. yeah. Um, we had heavy rain, though, the last three or four days. I guess the rain by now, Pastor Long's down to your house, probably. Mm -hmm. Bone marrow transplant. Can we pray for Jenny? Jeremy, we will pray for you. So, yeah, we will sure pray for Jeremy, uh, who's having a bone marrow transplant. We will pray for you. Sorry to hear that, Jeremy. We will pray. Um, oh, Ashley, that would be that would be great. Uh, since there's you an invitation, Matt, to go ice fishing in Michigan. Oh, cool. <laughs> Matt would like that. Silent song says, can you guys please adopt me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really Someone, uh, Silas, is that who it is? Silent Solace. Oh, Silent Solus wants us to adopt. Uh, that's very kind of you. Yeah. Do we have, I see one, Corey. Do we have a favorite vegetable to grow? I think for me and Matt both, it'd probably be, it's toss up. Well, I don't know for Matt. I better just answer for me and let him. But, <coughs> but beans for me, beans, beans. Tomatoes for me. Tomatoes. I was going to say, that's what uh, the two I figured. So, or corn. Yeah. I mean, I love, though, then when I start thinking, I'm like, but I really love cucumbers and I love onions and I love, you know, the greens. But um, beans are such a staple for us. We eat them about every week. So we really love growing them and putting them up for for the for our family nourishment. Can you do a video on canned potatoes? Can we do a video on canning potatoes? We've only canned potatoes one time, so we probably wouldn't be the best people to, to do that. I wanted to can them. The first time we canned them, uh, I don't even remember wh what video we found, who we followed or whatever. But I, then after that, I seen, which I know you're not supposed to do it, but I seen a lot of people talking about canning them, dry canning them. Uh, so I thought we'd try that this year, but that never happened with Miss Cindy being sick and everything. Uh, we did seem to grow a lot of potatoes this year, mm -hmm. though, but we never got to can any of them. We just ate them. We just ate them till they were gone. Does Matt have a crossbow? Does, does Matt have a crossbow? Yes, I've got two crossbows, actually. Uh, and I use them some. I don't like them as much as I do just a regular compound bow, but they are very efficient and very, very, uh, they work really well. Uh, and I, I just don't use them as much as I do just a regular uh, vertical bow. I like those a little bit better. That's nice, Christopher, that you got to spend time in Silva. So you wasn't too far from us. Thank you for, for thinking of us there. I see. Can you y'all do a video on frugal ways? I'm looking um, to cut corners and I'd love ideals you have. Uh, that would be a good video. Yeah. I think for uh, me and Matt, both frugal corners, we're just kind of, uh, we, we have low, uh, what do you call it? Let, not very expensive taste. Low cost of living. <laughs> low here. cost of living right. where we're at. Cheap so low taste. cost. Yeah, I guess Corey says we've got cheap taste. Uh, but uh, I guess I'm more frugal than Matt, though. Yeah. But uh, that would be a good video. Uh, for us something to think about yeah are you gonna make quilts tomorrow? am i gonna make quilts i've been talking a lot about quilts because i my weekly reading has been about quilts the book i'm reading now and then i shared my quilts last week i would love to make quilts someday but i don't sure don't see it in my near future for sure i can barely sew uh, when i was young and granny sewed all the time i would ask her to let me and it was like she didn't have time really to show me and then she got to where she did have time and she wanted to show me and begged me to learn and then I wasn't interested I was too busy being a teenager so um, of course she would show me now uh, of course um, and I could learn I'm sure myself but just so many things to do and not enough hours in the day one of those things but I do admire people that quilt so much I really do 
Have we ever been to Canada? No, we've never been out of the United States. Yeah, muscadines. Here. Do we have muscadines here? I get confused about muscadines because I think some people say they're the same as scoopernongs, and I don't know if they are or not. And then I've heard people say that their muscadines are just wild grapes. Well, we have wild grapes that grow all along our creek uh, down below our house, and but we call them fox grapes, but they are wild grapes. So if that's kind of maybe they're the same thing as muscadines, I'm just not sure. Uh, that I'm from, I'm, I can't say this, I'm going to mispronounce this, Rod Armour Cove in Canton, Road Matt, Armor. thank you, where in Canton are you from? So someone in Canton's asking, uh, Rod Armour? Yeah. How do you say it? Rod Armour. Rod Armour Cove mm -hmm. wants to know where Matt's at, where Matt was, where he lived when they were in Canton, when he was in Canton. I grew up in uh, Dutch Cove, that's where I came from when I was young, and when I moved from there, we lived in Henson Cove, which is just across the mountain on the other side of the ridge. So pretty close, huh? Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. I guess you knew some people that lived in Rodomer Cove. I did. Cove. Yeah. Would you be either potatoes? I'd be growing you. Um, I'm not sure if I would dehydrate, would I dehydrate potatoes was that question. I'm not sure. I definitely want to try Cannon more because I really, we ate them pretty quick, but I really enjoyed that. Um, just being able to open a jar. Mostly how I used them was to like if I made beef stew or something and just to pour them in it at the last minute or two, you know, last 30 minutes or something and then just let them warm through. And they were really good like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we enjoyed them. Favorite recipe with wild game? Mm, what about you, Matt? Mm, favorite recipe with wild game? Mine would be... Uh, would have to be marinated and grilled deer tenderloin. It's my my favorite one. I I love the um, wild. I love that, but I love the roast, and I love I love fried. anyway fried. I love all the all the deer meat. I see John. Thank you so much, John. And uh, John wants to know if you're enjoying your semi retirement. Absolutely, I'm enjoying my retirement. <laughs> I, I'm still busy, but uh, kind of go at it on my own terms you know and it's that's, that's way way better than having to get up and leave home every day real early and come home late in the evening and some evenings not get to come home on time so this is this is way better yeah collards or turnips is the question i think for me it's turnips uh, I don't, i'd say collards Matt's like, are you really well i like them all yeah, I, I like yeah. all well we need to grow some collards this year but i love collards. yeah, yeah. I, okay well there you go Sweet this uh, sweet cornbread. Do we like sweet cornbread? For us, we don't. We just like regular cornbread. But but I I don't get offended at people that like sweet cornbread. Some people do, but I say you ought to eat what you like. Is what city I say. Water well water? Um, city. Do we have city well water or well water? We have um, well water. We have well water. Do you do a lot of fermenting? Do we do a lot of fermenting? We do. We make. Um, kraut every year pretty much the um, pickles the i make some like cucumber think of cucumber pickles we've made a fermented um pepper recipe the last couple of years that we really like and then we drink kefir water and that's a fermented drink do y'all eat squirrel you have to start a little bit on squirrel. Yeah, a little bit needs some squirrel. We love squirrel. Mm -hmm. I let Matt talk about it more but yeah, we, uh, I like it. Uh, I don't, we don't eat it as often as we used to because I don't, most of the time, what time I would be in the wood squirrel hunting, I'm deer hunting. Uh, but I usually try to make a hunt or two later in the year and go squirrel hunting and get enough to at least eat it once or maybe twice during the winter. And we all like it. Uh, Brenda, I will pray for your Uncle Larry. He's in hospice care, not expected to live. I'm so sorry. Um, we sure will pray for him and his family. Tina, we don't know babies' names yet. They've not decided on any names. Could people ever ask for your autograph in public? Uh, so someone's asked, did anybody, has anybody ever asked for our autographs in public? And they've not. Mm -hmm. No, no. I think somebody did Katie one time. Did, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Matt, uh, what is the difference between a deer ham and a deer roast, or is it the same thing? That's for Margaret. Yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, uh, we kind of use uh, 
hillbilly terms here, the, the, the ham is just the entire hindquarter of a deer is what I call a ham. Uh, now, within that, you can separate the muscles and have uh, different cuts of a roast. I just don't know what they are. I just cook the whole thing every time I cook one because there's enough of us here to eat it all. Daphne, thank you so much. Thank you, Daphne. We appreciate that. Someone wants to know the brand of your mixing bowl. Uh, the mixing, someone wants to know the brand of my mixing bowls. Those kind of speckledy brownish looking bowls that I use, those are Texas wire bowls. And uh, Miss Cindy gifted me a whole set of them many ages ago, just ages ago. They were hers. They were popular, I guess, in the 70s and maybe the 80s. Granny always had one. She just had one. She still has it that she made biscuits and stuff in. And then recently, someone else, a friend, has gifted me a couple more. So I really, really love them. But Texas Ware is the name of them. And um, I've heard people say you can find them on eBay and Etsy. And then also sometimes like in local thrift stores or antique type stores, those those kind of things. Uh, thank you so much, Silent Solace. Uh, what did he say, Corey? I, he was asking about something about what we say. I can't get my little, mm -hmm. it's not working. Okay, Corey's going to see. Thank I you. The, I love the way you all speak. I've understood some of the phrases in terms of using Appalachia. Is that how you see it? Say it? Okay, I think Silent Solace was asking, said he's from Scot is from Scotland, right? Yeah. And was talking about how we speak and that some of the language we use is very familiar it, and I do see it like that so much of our influences come I mean I've never been to Scotland I don't, I don't want to say that I'm not a specialist on Scotland but so much of the uh, genealogy here where we live in the mountains of Appalachia is Scott Irish is that influence of people the first you know settlers that come here so there is a lot of the words do originate there that come from here I mean that are now used here uh, of course uh, I could talk all day about language but it's uh, with each generation, there's less of it. I think that's for any kind of um, accent or dialect. It's just every generation is more just, I guess, uh, compared to the rest of society. It just kind of gets washed. Some of those words fade away. Uh, but I really love to talk about it. And thank you. So glad you like to hear us and that we remind you of the things you hear there. Sasquatch, believe in Sasquatch, ever seen Sasquatch? Someone wants to know if we've ever seen Sasquatch. We've never seen Sasquatch, no. The only one I've ever seen is Uncle Sasquatch on yeah. YouTube. I'm seeing him. He's here. He's here, so say hey. I watched him uh, actually today. So, hey, Uncle Sasquatch, if you're on here. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I've got some more questions. When will you plant tomatoes? When will we plant tomatoes? Uh, me and Corey was actually talking about that earlier today. I think. Uh, it seems like last year I got started way too early. Uh, there was a couple of, I think I just jumped the gun on my stuff I started in the house. Um, but also I, we had such a cold spring, but I was thinking maybe March should be good. I think that's what Matt usually tells me. Mm -hmm. Kristen Grace, thank you so much. How about some Matt merch? <laughs> Matt merch. <laughs> yeah. Does dad fly fish? Does Matt fly fish? Uh, no. Uh, used to years ago, but I don't, I don't fly fish anymore. It's uh, a little too involved for me. I, and it's, I'd rather just fish with it, just a regular rod and reel. Uh, someone says, uh, what time of the year do you plant beans? So here where we live, we would wait till there's no danger of frost to plant beans, which is usually what the, about the second week in May, something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is from someone who's in Andrews. They watch on, they live in Andrews. Have you ever went to any orchards nearby like the one in Blue Ridge? Okay, someone in Andrews wants that's near where we live, wants to know if we've been to any of the orchards near where we live. We've been to Mercier's, um, and I guess that's the only one. Corey, you help me out. Is that the only one? I think so. And that's in, uh, is that in Blue Ridge or Ella J? Ella J. It's a really nice place. I love their uh, apple pies. It's really great. What do we use to season cast iron? I guess what kind of oil? What kind of oil do we use to season cast iron? Usually just uh, olive oil is what I use. Uh, I've used uh, vegetable oil, uh, bacon grease, any any anything like that will work. But we generally always have olive oil here. And I actually keep a uh, little 
butter container that's got a rag in it that's soaked in olive oil. And when I get ready to season the pan, I just take it out and it's already uh, oiled up, get the pan hot, rub it around in there and put a coat on it and let it cool down and it'll, it'll pull that oil into the metal. Uh, someone asked, why do, why is it that I clean fish, but I don't go fishing? Uh, I, I'm just not a fisher person, I guess. I, I would rather sit and watch the water and play in the rocks and stuff. But I clean fish because I had a job when I met Matt, when we were courting, that that's what I did for a living. I worked at a boathouse, and one of my duties was to clean fish. If people caught fish, I had to, not just me, my fellow employees and me, had to clean the fish. So I learned a lot about cleaning fish. But as far as the fishing part, I would just rather sit and stare off into space and watch the water and enjoy the the mountains. Have you ever fell out of a tree, Dad? Has Matt ever fell out of a tree? Uh, no, I've never fell out of a tree. Well, what did you, well, that wasn't in a tree, was that it? Was the hog I, that was the hog pen. Okay. I was thinking about when Matt was little. You probably meant when he was deer hunting, yes. but uh, I did, I did. I was thinking about when he was little. I did climb a uh, big tall apple tree when I was young, and I was not supposed to be doing that. I was told not to. And I climbed up in the apple tree in our hog pen that we had when I was a little boy, sat right under it. So I climbed up the side of the hog pen, got on the roof, then got into the tree and went up and picked some apples. And on my way back down, I got down to the roof of the hog pen and then started off the side of it. And I fell and broke my arm and broke it, broke both main bones right here right past the wrist, broke them completely in two. And then, of course, I lied about what happened. I told mom and daddy, I think I fell running out in, out in the yard or something or another, so I wouldn't be in trouble for doing something I wasn't supposed to. Yeah. Um, I saw there's so many questions that we could never answer them all, but I did see Deb White ask us if we would still want to go camping, uh, even though the grandsons are coming. We sure hope so. We mm -hmm. don't know what all that's going to be like, but we sure hope so. Um, seems like I've seen another one for Matt, and I've already forgot it now. Or, Dad, are you going to take all of them on your next fishing trip? Oh, is Matt going to take all of them on his next fishing trip? Uh, probably not. Uh, all is a little, it'd be fun, but you wouldn't be doing any fishing. No, you'd just, just be, be hanging on to her. Yeah. Oh, someone wants to know, Corey, where the cookbook is. Can you show them? Um, I put a link. There. Oh, I did, but I can do another one. Okay. Corey put a link in the chat there, but she'll try to put another one. And usually in any of our videos, if you look in the description, you can find that link to the cookbook. Do we have a drone? Because we do um, shots. Someone wants to know if we have a drone. We do have a drone. We're still learning how to use it. Actually, Matt and Corey's learning how to use it. I'm not. Uh, someone says, do y'all ever have tornadoes there? Uh, very, very rarely. Uh, you'll hear people like us or like me. Matt's not lived here as long as I have, but probably even he would, he could tell you this now as long as he's been here. But in the seventies, we had really bad, was like, like 75, the killer tornado, or maybe it was 74 that went through a lot of the whole, you know, Eastern United States. Um, anyway, but we don't have them here very often, but that one was bad and did uh, lost lives in that one. Thank you, John. Is Matt, if Matt is bad, will you sell his truck again? <laughs> no, I can't sell it now because I own part of it too. Right. Of course, I didn't really, I knew that that was part of the joke that he, he wouldn't have to sell it. All he'd have to do is say, you've got the wrong number yeah. or whatever, you know. Would Matt and Austin do a cooking video together? Uh, would Matt and Austin do a cooking video together? That might be neat. Maybe mm -hmm. they could do something outdoors. Yeah, that'd be cool. Are there Amish, Amish near us? Amish people. Are there Amish people near us? No, not that, uh, not that we know of. Uh, Walter wants to know if Matt gonna get rid of the grass. Looks like it ain't gonna be this year. We yeah. had dreams of that, but that's now that we're gonna focus on the big garden. Um, that'll have, be our focus. Have you been to Ocracoke Island? We've never been to Ocracoke Island. Someone asked that, but that's what Katie used to like to watch, isn't it? That was Oak. Oh, that was Oak. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was Oak Island. Uh, thank you, Wyatt, so much. Thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you and appreciate your support. Any plans for a new book? Any plans for a new book? Uh, Jim and I are working on another book. Uh, it will be more of uh, in the vein of there might be some recipes in it, but more of the... Uh, when you think about the culture of Appalachia in relation to being close to the land, whether it is the hunting and fishing or the gardening, those type things. Favorite city to visit? Our favorite city to visit. I don't 
I don't know, Matt. We're not really exciting when it comes to traveling and, and visiting places. Um, I don't know. I'd well, like to go to, I don't know what the city is, but in Kentucky to see the Ark, we would like to go. Oh, see yeah, that. we'd like to go do that. That Someone would be great. Asked when we were coming to Kentucky. Yeah. We've been to different places. But yeah, I'd like to go back to Kentucky. Yeah. What kind of corn are you going to plant? What kind of corn will we plant? We love Silver Queen, so we'll definitely plant Silver Queen. And then Debbie uh, from Bryson Farm Supply shared some with us that actually one of you shared with her that's like an open pollinated corn. So we might try to grow at least, you know, a row or half a row or something of that and see see what happens. Did either of you have an outhouse growing up? Did either of us have an outhouse when we were growing up? I did not. No. Um, I do remember places, though, other places that had them uh, when I was a girl, whether it was old, you know, kind of country churches or our local little uh, country store, Doris Jeans, when I was real little, they had an outhouse and I can remember I had to use it and I wished I'd, I didn't have to. Oh, Tammy, thank you so much. Do you, this is for Katie and Matt. Do you have a favorite online site to purchase a rebuilt engine? I have a Honda. Hmm. I don't know. I'd have to ask Katie. She's the one who's been doing all the rebuilding. Who is that? Those crate people? Crate people? Um, no. I don't, they don't, Matt said he'd have to ask Katie, so we'll see if she knows anything. If anybody else does, though, please put it in the chat, and you can help out, too. Catfishing? Uh, do we ever go catfishing? Not specifically, I don't guess, for catfish. No, not specifically, but if we catch them, we do keep them and eat them because they're good. Uh, Matt and Daddy, Pap, used to go set trot lines. Is that what it's called? And a lot of times that's what they would catch would be um, catfish, and mm -hmm. we, we eat them. They're good. Players near the home? Are there any bears near our home? There is yes. uh, bears, yeah. Black bears. Yeah, we've seen them. I've seen them in the yard a couple of times, and then just directly out of the yard up in here on the ridge, I've seen them uh, more than once. So they are here. Uh, someone wants to know, says their, I think it was their grandmother used to call uh, fried okra grasshoppers i've never heard that i like that though oh jane thank you so much thank you you're very very kind we'll put that towards our camping camping uh if we get to go and i hope we'll i mean me and matt can go anyway but it's always more fun when everybody can go looking forward to the new mini mats yeah john, says. john <laughs> wants to know if we're looking forward to the new mini mats coming we are so oh, excited yeah. about both babies we're so so excited have you ever eaten bear meat have we ever ate bear meat? Yes. yes. Matt more than me, but yes. Um, are we watching the NFL playoffs? Are we watching the NFL playoffs? No. Uh, no. Uh, Patricia wants to know, will we be coming to, where was that in Georgia, Woodstock or Canton for a book signing? Not that we know of at this time, but if we something comes up, we'll let you know. Have you ever heard of fried okra being called grasshopper? Yeah, I, I answered that one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Eric, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, someone wants to know if um, Matt, with the warmer weather, if Matt caught up on his wood chopping, and he did. Yes, I did. And got, got some chopped and got it in the basement. And got more sitting out there ready to come in, but still more to chop, too. Uh, Matt like cats. That's from Melinda. Uh, Melinda wants to know if Matt likes cats. He's, well, he's been around cats his whole life because Miss Cindy was the quintessential cat lady. Right. I, I mean, I like them okay. I like dogs better, but cats are okay too. Eric, thank you so much. Thank you. That's so nice of you. And Kristen Grace, thank you too. Oh, the... The shake notes, uh, Kristen, me and Corey and Katie, all three took a class, but we can't we can't read them to say them as fast as when they sing like that. But I love that. It's beautiful. Love shape note singing. Grown asparagus? Uh, have we ever grown asparagus? We grow asparagus. We have some in our garden, have an established bed. We really like it. FOMO, thank you so much. Uh, oh, you're so nice. Thank you so much. Have you started on the barn? Have we started on the barn? No, the weather. No, not yet. It's still too cold and too wet, and I'm going to wait for it to get a little bit warmer, and maybe I'll be able to get started down at the end. I'm not so certain. I may 
thought about instead of building one, uh, buying a, like a prefabbed metal one, maybe. I'm kind of looking into that still, so uh, still a little bit unsure about that, but maybe soon. Large mouth bass fishing? Large mouth, mouth bass fishing. Matt used to do a lot of that. Yeah, and I've done a little bit of it last spring with my new kayak. So me and Austin, when we went fishing a couple of times, but we didn't get to go much because that was about, mm -hmm. about the time Mama got sick. So yeah, uh, hopefully get to maybe this spring. Lydia, thank you so much. And EP Ter Ted, I can't, I'm sorry, but thank you so much. You're not getting your name right, I know, but thank you so much. We appreciate that. Back in the day, uh, when Corey and Katie was little, Matt had a boat, and he did more bass tournament fishing kind of stuff back mm -hmm. then, but finally got burnt out on it, or I don't know why you sold uh, your boat. It didn't take me long to figure out that I couldn't afford to have a bass boat with two <laughs> little girls and, yeah, you know. and everything else. So I got rid of it and didn't have one for 20 years. Yeah. And, and last, last summer, I bought a fishing kayak and went out a couple of times in it, and Really enjoyed it, so hopefully uh, I'll get to do some more of that this summer. Thank you so much, Doug. He says he hopes our corn grows big this year and not on our feet, but on our... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Doug. That's great. That yeah, that's funny. Uh, where does the Tommy name come from in... Uh, so where does the question is where does Tony the Tony name come from? That's Matt's daddy. His name Tony, uh, but I don't I don't know if there was somebody else in his family like maybe a uncle or somebody named Tony. I have no idea. I don't know of any. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I always thought that was kind of odd, you know, coming from his family to ha have that kind of name and not know anything. Any you know anybody further back in the lineage that had it. So I just don't really know. He has brothers that are, which makes it Tony even more strange, Sam and Tex and Mike and then Tony. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Uh, Connie, thank you so much. And Tara creates, creates too. Thank you so much. Margaret, thank you. Um, Margaret, thank you so much. You've been with us from the very beginning, I know. MP, wow, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. And then we had a prayer request. Someone's uh, 16 year old granddaughter it says code blue, but then the nurse pushed the wrong button and scared them all to death. So just. Okay, the six, someone has a 16 year old granddaughter wants us to pray for them, uh, for her. We sure will. So sorry that all that's happening. Oh, we're, um, thank you. Donista, I think we feel like family. That's what, uh, that's the biggest, I'll, I'll start crying. I've got to watch it, but that's the biggest compliment when people say that to us. We're so thankful to feel like family. People tell me that I'm uh, like their mother or their grandmother. That just makes my day. Oh, John, thank you. Uh, Tony is short for Anthony. Kim, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. That's so kind. Why they did write that song. Thank you very much. They wrote uh, Give the Dog a Bath and they wrote it to be smart alecky to me one day when I was it was during the summer. And they say that I told them they were wasting their lives. I don't think I told them that. <laughs> but I happened to be giving the dog a bath at that time, Ruby, our dog. And so then they started being, I said, you should play music or write a song or something. It was during the summer. And I guess I thought they were being bums or something anyway. And they started say it, making up the song to make fun of me washing the dog. But then uh, the joke was on them. Cause then they, it was turned out so good. They had to sing it everywhere they went. And people asked for it all the time. Would you sing, wash the dog, <laughs> give the dog a bath. Uh, Francis, thank you so much. But I didn't see the question, Corey, that last okay. super chat. Uh, you do feel like family. Thanks for sharing your lives and selves with us. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Francis. How do you keep critters out of your garden? How do we keep critters out of our garden? We get that question a lot. Um, Thankfully, we live in a, a mountain holler that has dogs in it and they yeah. roam around. Uh, it's our neighbor's dogs and, you know, there's several and they, you know, they, they form little packs and they run around, chase stuff. Sometimes in the middle of the night it might drive you crazy, but all that keeps the deer out of our gardens most all the time and any kind of groundhogs or anything like that. So we're really lucky on that. Oh, Walter, thank you so much. Thank you, Walter. 
are we related to Elvis? Uh, we always say no. Matt's always said no. But in the last year, someone on, you know, wonderful subscriber sent me some information that showed that way, way, way back there, Matt may have been related to Elvis. Cool. Yeah. Y'all are so kind, all of your nice comments. So very kind. Hello to everybody. Uh, what's for supper? We uh, kind of told that men to go, but we're going to have, I was going to have hamburgers. Matt made some chicken and some rice and some broccoli. Have you ever been to John C. Campbell Folk School? Yes, we've been. We live very close to the folk school. I've taught there. The girls have been there and uh, we all have worked there at one time or another. Do I have a chicken liver video? I don't, but Matt loves chicken livers. Yeah, I do. That's the only Matt liver I like them. is chicken liver. Uh, I don't like beef liver or any any other kind, but I really do like chicken liver. So maybe you should learn how to cook it. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I see someone wants to know, their husband wants to know how many deer Matt got this year. I uh, got four. Uh, Season and Sprout says, are y'all just growing corn down where Pap had his garden? Are you growing more? <laughs> yes, it would just be where Pap's big garden was. That's That's where it would be. Will T Papa Tony ever come on the channel, Cindy? I think he will if it just ever worked out to where we can uh, get him. He lives two hours away from us, so uh, it's just a manner of getting there at the right time when he has time to maybe be interviewed or to talk or whatever, or if he come here. He, he stayed with us some last year, but he was working, and then in the evenings, he was so tired. He didn't want, to, he didn't want a video camera in his face, uh, but hopefully we can make that happen. Badgers around our house. Do we have any badgers? No. How many freezers do you have? How many freezers do we have? Uh, we have uh, two. two big ones in the basement. And then, of course, the refrigerator, a little small one. Our, uh, Heidi and Brett, are we going to have mugs? We're working on that with Rob Withrow. So hopefully we'll have that. Hopefully we'll figure that out. We're in the process of it. Have you tanned a deer hide? Have I tanned a deer hide? No, I never have. Um, I never have tanned any hides, actually. Um, I've kept a couple of deer hides to send off to get somebody else to tan and just never, it never did happen. And I've always wanted to learn how to do it myself and I kind of know how to do it. I've just never done it. I, I saw someone say, uh, I think it was Linda asked, did Matt, does Matt ever miss <coughs> going to work? Miss going to work? Uh, that'd be a negative. <laughs> I enjoy being right here. I think the guys that he worked with miss him some. They well, they try to get him to come eat with them sometimes. I do, I you do. miss them. Yeah, I miss being around the guys at work, but as far as having to go to work, no, I don't miss that at all. Tammy says she has fibromyalgia, so she's in pain 24-7, but watching many videos with her. Oh, Tammy, I'm so sorry that you have to deal with that and that you're in pain. We will really pray for you, um, and I, I'm so sorry that you have to deal with that kind of pain. My heart just goes out to you. I'm so sorry. She loves our videos. I'm glad that you enjoy our videos, though. Thank you so much for that. Is Tipper short for Tiffany? Uh, is Tipper short for Tiffany, someone said. It's not. My brother Steve, my older brother Steve, actually named me Tipper. It's not my given name, but it just quickly took over. And my given name is Mary Jane, because I know people's going to ask that. But when I was learning how to walk... Um, he was afraid I would tip over and, or fall, but instead of saying fall, he would say, she's going to tip over, she's going to tip over, and that turned into tipper. So I don't even remember not being tipper. Sean Plus, uh, Sean, thank you so much. You've been with us th since the beginning, too. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Um, Star Lily says she's in the hospital with her son. He's getting emergency chemo. Who is it? Star Lily. Star Lily, I'm so sorry for that. We will pray for your son. I'm so sorry. We're so sorry. Where do we get our honey? Um, different places. Uh, we try to buy local honey. There's a gentleman, Larry Stalk up. Who's, there's another one in, uh, I can't remember, in, in Pine Log. And then also our local produce stand sells it from Western North Carolina. It's not as local. How does Matt deal with all the women in the house? The two grand boys will balance the boys out. <laughs> How does Matt deal with all the women in the house? Yeah, I'm waiting on them two boys to help me out. But <laughs> Austin's helped a lot, though. Yeah, he has. Austin's yeah. helped a lot. 
Uh, Matt used to tease when the girls were young and growing up uh, and we had our dog Ruby that we had for a long time, 14 years. Actually, before Ruby was Wilma, so she was a girl too, but Matt would tease that even his dog had to be, uh, mm. you know, a lady. So yeah. he loves us though, and he's good to the ladies. He's good to good to all of us. Any mistletoe in the trees down here? Any mistletoe yes. in the trees down here? Yes, there is some. And where was we just at where I said, look at that mistletoe? Where was we? We were coming back from, where was I coming back from? Right. No, we were all together. somewhere we were all together. I'm just seeing the trees and I was like, look at all that mistletoe. Where was we at? Well, you, I was in Andrews, but you wasn't no, with no, me. I'm so I'm not, I don't think it was in Andrews. I don't remember where that was at. Where was we at? Just like a few weeks ago. <laughs> I don't know. Me and Corey, neither one can't remember, but somewhere we sing a lot. Uh, Tipper, when, uh, when did you start playing the bass guitar? Um, it's not been that long, probably about 2008, 2009, something like that. And the reason I started playing is Paul and Pat needed me to play. Uh, and that's why. And I'm nowhere near as talented as Paul or Corey and Katie when it comes to music or pap. I say I play by how Paul tells me to play. He tells me what to do and I do it. Oh, thank you so much. Y'all are so kind. Thank you. Our family's variety. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, you're, the tree that you got me was doing really good all summer long, even into the fall. I just hope it hope it made it through this cold weather, but I've not checked on it. I need to run. I need to uh, scale the bank out there and check, but I sure hope it makes it because I'd love to see those beautiful little blooms this spring. Does Matt play an instrument? Does Matt play an instrument? He can play the guitar and he can sing. Yeah, very, very little. Uh, he can. Well, you know, playing guitar is something you just got to stay with, and I don't because I've got other interests. And I mean, yeah. I kind of like it, but I don't like it like I do the other stuff right. I do. So I don't stay with it enough to ever be good at it. So that's why you don't ever see me playing yeah. the rest of this bunch. What about your t-shirt? Where can I find your Instagram? Um, it's in the bottom of any of our. Actually, it's right below our. Our videos. Oh, someone's asking if where they could find our T-shirts and stuff. In the below all of our videos, there's a little like a little bar, and you can see them. Now this one's live, so I don't know if it's already there right now or if it will be after it's not live anymore. But any of our other other videos, if you just go and look, um, there's you can see the little pictures of the T-shirts and stuff. And if you click on that, then you can click again to go to the store and see everything. Uh, also, in the, my recent videos, I've been trying to put all of that in a pinned comment so you can look there, too. Um, and once this is over, we can do that on this video once everything is finished. How old is uh, Someone is asking how old Matt is. How old am I? I am 54. We'll be 55 in about three months. Oh, Wyatt, that's so nice. Uh, Corey can give you the P.O. box, and we pray for you when you do go back overseas. What's up? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, so glad that you enjoyed the live chat. Thank you so much. Very nice. Is Katie going to sell some of her homemade lures? She made a couple of them and y'all used them. And then I kind of, I think she kind of got off of that, but she should, she should make them. Yeah. They got hung up and lost in the bottom of the river. So <laughs> yeah. Well, but they were good. She yeah. caught a fish one. Yeah. She caught some. So she was, she's really um, wanted to do that. But then of course got pulled back to our regular work. Um, so she, maybe that's something she can do in the future. Oh, someone says they enjoyed the audio on the blind pig and of uh, Pap and Granny. Uh, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Is it Ira? Am I reading? Am I, I think so, Ira. Thank you. Uh, maybe Corey could put a link to that. Uh, yesterday or day before on our Blind Pig and the Acorn channel, Paul shared a video. It's really just the sound in a static picture, but of Pap and Granny singing about eight songs. And then this morning I shared it on my blog. Uh, but you can hear Pap and Granny from back in the day when they, they were singing together around the house. And a lot, I love it. I love it because it's them, but also you can hear in the background some kids, uh, you know, messing around, talking, crying, different things. And I know that's me and Paul and Steve, especially in that set. Uh, that, that Corey's, I think, going to share 
um, you can hear Paul for sure, because he would have been, you know, just a, a, a baby or a year old, two years old, something like that. And I think you can hear me too talking, saying stuff. Not much. You can just hear us in the background. Uh, but it's really a great example of that was how I grew up listening to that kind of stuff all the time. Was you able, or Corey still looking for still it? On. Corey's still working on leaving that video link, but she will. Ever make crackling bread? Have we ever made crackling bread? Yes, and I have a video. I have a video. You can find it. Search on our channel for it, and you can find it. Matt likes it. I ain't made none in a long time. I guess I, guess I need to. Most of the time, when it's something I really like the best, she quits making. Oh, home life with Linda. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't quit making it. I just don't. Uh, we don't always have crack ones. I wish we had yeah, hogs and could render them ourselves oh, and yeah. all that, but I don't. Babies do. Uh, someone's asking when the babies are due, March and June. Snowstorm up in New Hampshire, expecting six to 10 inches. Wow. Yes, I want some. Ashley, if you could send it. My nephew, Mark, is in New Hampshire, and I'm sorry, I don't know the exact place he lives, but where he's at, it's constantly snow. Oh, Jennifer, thank you so much. How often do you season your cast iron pans? We were talking about this a little earlier. I think, and Matt does too, the key to it is once you get them seasoned, is just to use them every day. That's all we, all we use. And I think that keeps them really smooth and finished. Um, we don't really have videos about seasoning them, but Kent Rollins, is that his name, Matt? Cowboy, Cowboy Kent. Kent Rollins, he has several, and we do ours pretty much the same in the beginning, but ours are, we've used ours for so long, they're just really well seasoned, um, so we just keep keep using them. Who's in Granny's lap in the music? Oh, okay, on the music video, it's got, like I said, a static picture, and you'll see that uh, if you go and watch it, and that little kid is Steve, my older brother, Steve. And <clears throat> excuse me, interesting about that picture, I'll tell you, if you read The Blind Pig, you already know. Or if you read in the description of Paul's, uh, where he put below that video, but that photo, we had never seen it until the last few months. One of my granny's nephews, my cousin David, his mother passed away and he's been going through all her stuff. And so when he found, found pictures of people, he gives them, gives them to the people, you know. So he brought Granny a handful of photos and that one was in it. And just an amazing photo of Granny and Pap and Steve. And none of us had ever seen it. So we really, really were grateful to David for sharing it with us. Uh, and the guitar, if you're interested in the guitar, again, you could read that in Paul's. But that guitar is actually my Uncle Henry's Gretsch. Uh, that Pap's holding is a electric guitar, which Pap didn't really ever play. He played acoustic, but Granny uh, told me and Paul that they lived in Murphy in town, and Henry liked to stay with them so that he'd be in town where everything was happening, you know, um, anyway, and that his guitar was often at their house because he was often there. Uh, Tammy, thank you so much, and you can get my cookbook in my Etsy store. I put it in, but they're not, they're not Okay, Corey's trying to put links, but she but says it's it's strange that they're pasted? that they're not working. Um, copy and paste yeah, you can copy and paste it. But if you, Tammy, well, if you, then, oh, it's not blue, it's not like a oh, Tammy, uh, Corey said it's not turning like a hyperlink for us. So you may have to copy it and paste it. But also, you can look in the description of any of my videos, and you'll find the link for the cookbook. That might be easier just to go to another video and look in the description. But it's the in the, on Etsy in the Blind Pig and the Acorn Etsy shop is where you would find it. <clears throat> Has Matt ever thought about keeping bees? Yeah, we thought about it. We just never learned how to do it and got it going. So, but we would like to It'd be good for the garden. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put the link, but okay, Corey's going to put the link, the cookbook link again, but you may, if it doesn't hyperlink, you may have to copy it and then paste it into your browser. Maybe, uh, yeah, minutes, uh, we, about, I can't uh, believe an hour has went by so fast, but we're we're about at an hour mark and that's how long we were going to go. But we're so appreciative to all of you who stopped by to visit with us. And we just couldn't thank you enough for all of your support and helping us uh, celebrate Appalachia and 
just being so kind to us uh, really means the world to us. And sometimes I think words don't really hold much meaning, but that's all we have is mm -hmm. words. That's the only way we know how to show, how to say it. And we just appreciate you so, so very much. Um, and we're so thankful for each of you. And we do pray. We'll remember all those prayer requests, but we pray for all of you. We pray for our YouTube family. Um, like I said, a lot of you think that we feel like family. Well, we feel like that about you. So thank you so much. And uh, we really appreciate you spending time with us. We'll try to do this again, not very often, but maybe we'll try aim for once a month or something mm -hmm. like that uh, so that we can chat with you in real time. And we hope all of you have a great evening. And um, what is Corey and Katie? What do you say, Corey? God bless you, God keep you. Uh, Corey says, God bless you. God keep you and see you on the next one. I like to say, though, we're always just grateful for you stopping by to help us celebrate Appalachia. And we'll see you this week in another video. Bye bye.